How's it going everybody? My name is Johnny and today I want to make a video for you guys talking about my one year or maybe a little over a year review on this Warks uh, cordless screwdriver. This is their WX242 model and uh, the reason I'm making this video is because about a year ago I purchased this and I made a review on it. Uh, it's on my channel if you guys want like an unboxing but essentially um, I own the previous model of this which work really great and I upgraded to this um, this one right here it's kind of like their 2.0 version and uh, yeah I just want to give you guys my thoughts on it and uh, if you guys are in market for one of these hopefully this video helps you guys out if you guys are wondering about the durability now that this is a little bit more popular there's a little bit more videos on it in terms of um, unboxings and people comparing them versus one versus another um, but I have owned it for a little bit over a year, so I'm just going to give you guys, you know, my one-year review on it. So, uh, I mean, right off the bat, I'm just going to tell you, this, this thing has been great. I absolutely love this thing. I love the old one as well. I actually still use it at home. This is the one I use every day for work. The one at home I just use for, you know, little things around the house, things like that. Um, you know, working with electronics or just smaller, you know, little tasks in general. But uh, this thing for work has been an absolute beast. I absolutely love this thing. The, the charge has still been really good. I've had no issues with it, you know, dying quickly. I think I charge it maybe once every month. And, uh, you know, the torque is still strong. And, uh, um, you know, this little uh, torque setting has been good. Has, I, still, I haven't had any issues with this failing or anything like that. Um, there is a little bit of wear here at the bottom. But that's from throwing it in my work bag or my work pouch every day. But other than that, it's held up really well. Now, um, the main goal with this was to replace like a regular screwdriver, something like this. And um, this comes into play really well if you're doing something repetitive, you know, throughout the day or throughout your work. Um, for example, I unscrew a lot of jacks in the house like wall plates and um, some of those screws are like four inches long <laughs> so having something like this compared to this is a lot it's just an easier um, you know it's like a life kind of uh, what do you call it it's just like an easy life upgrade like you know going from this to you know getting in awkward areas and trying to unscrew a screw can get annoying this you can kind of fit it in areas that you would fit like a regular screwdriver and you know if you're in a weird angle you can still you know push the button and screw something in or unscrew something now if you're if you're wondering or if you're looking for this to you know replace a 12 volt screw or 12 volt drill it's not uh, this kind of holds its own place in terms of what you can use it for uh, you know for me I, um, you know, I do a lot of, you know, screwing and unscrewing of screws, but also I do holes uh, in drywall. So what I do is I take this out, put this in, make a little hole for my anchor, take this out, put the anchor in, and then screw the screw into the anchor, and I'm good to go. So that's mainly what I use it for in terms of heavy duty use. There is times where I do have to install like brackets against a wooden um, wall. And this does the job really good on Max. So I just get like a regular screw and I'm able to screw the uh, screw into wood and I have zero issues. Um, now this, but like I said earlier, this is not gonna replace like, you know, this for example. It's not gonna replace this. I mean, if you're looking to find something to replace this, you're not gonna find it, you know, you know this serves its own purpose this is really to replace something like this if you're doing something um you know over and over and over continuously that's mainly what this is made for uh, a 12 volt drill can just do a lot more um in terms of you know power and things like that but this is still a great tool to have also if you um, are doing something over and over like i mentioned earlier now um in terms of uh, where to buy this, uh, it's still not available in the States for some reason. I don't know why, 
Uh, this is a, an item that is being sold in the Asian markets, uh, but for some reason in the U.S. they haven't been selling them or they haven't been out, I should say. I don't know if there's an embargo on the specific works items. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. But the only way you can really buy this is on AliExpress, which I have zero, zero issues with. I buy a lot of things from AliExpress. It's kind of like China's version of Amazon where, yes, a lot of fake things are being sold on there, but also a lot of people who legit sell legit items use that platform to sell things. And um, in, in terms of the price, I originally paid like, 65 to 70 dollars for this um i don't know how much it costs now but i'll leave a link down below to where i bought it and uh, maybe it's cheaper i don't know but um that's the only con about this is the availability but if you can get your hands on this this thing is great now they do sell other cordless screwdrivers out there I ha i've seen that bosch has a pretty good one but this one from what i've seen is a little bit smaller than the bosch so um you know, to a certain level, if it gets bigger and bigger, it kind of becomes useless for for what I think it should be used for. The fact that it's compact, you're able to put it like in a tool bag. Here, let me take out my little pouch. But for example, if I go on a job, this just sits right here. It fits fine, no issues whatsoever. If it, if, if it were to be any bigger than this, then it, there's no really point of, you know, buying something like this i would just carry my you know 12 volt around so the fact that it's this size and you get this much torque and this much battery life and you get a little light right here i mean it's just it's just perfect in my opinion um but like i said earlier as, as far as how it's been holding up it's been holding up really great um highly highly recommend this if you're a person who's constantly using a screwdriver the only modification that I did to this as you can see here is I put this little bit holder so this was a part of like a long cheap set of bit holders all I did was I got a, um, a utility blade and I cut a little edge off that was this and I just taped it around with electrical tape so now I can switch between my bits so I'm using I'm usually always using a Phillips but when I need the, the flathead, I can just pop this out, hold it right there, and then pop this in. And then vice versa, take this out, pop it in, and uh, put this back in here. And this holds in place. I haven't, any, haven't had any issues with this falling, and it's great just having it on there. Um, so if you're constantly using, you know, two bits, I highly recommend doing something like this. There's probably a better method of going about this, but... I've done this before with my old one and I just did it again. It's been working fine. So if you have an old uh, bit holder uh, set, like the little cheap plastic ones, just get a utility blade, cut one end off and uh, tape it down and then you'll be good to go. So I still really recommend this. Um, I don't know if they're gonna come out with the version three, but this thing has been an absolute beast and more and more people are starting to um, you know, discover this. And uh, that, like I said, this, is, this has been great. If you want to buy it for work, or if you're into computers and you work on computers, or let's say you work on like RC cars or anything like that, you can attach a micro bit adapter and use micro bits with this. And uh, also the torque works perfect for that. So for example, if you're working on computers or electronics, a lot of those screws are really tiny screws and you don't want to break the plastic trying to screw something in so you can set it to like one or two and you can use this for you know any type of electronics or like i said rc cars or anything like that so aside from you know heavy duty work you can use this for things like that so definitely is useful in that regard so highly highly recommend this if you have any questions uh regarding this uh drop a comment down below if you want to watch an unboxing of this uh, on my channel. I think it's like one of the first videos I uploaded so you can check that out. But that's pretty much it for me guys. Peace.